another student request over here we got to figure out the limit as x gets closer to zero from the right of this thing now if i were to plug in zero from the right then that basically means that i'm dealing with 0 0.1 and also 0 0.01. I'm just keep getting closer and closer to zero. But this would come out to 10, this would come out to 100. What's gonna happen here is I keep plugging in numbers that get closer and closer to zero, is that this entire thing is gonna get closer to infinity. So I kind of just have to figure out what's happening when I have tan inverse of infinity. Uh, but what that really means is that I have the limit as x goes towards infinity of tan inverse of x. So that means I'm going to be able to look at the graph of tan inverse x. Now the short answer here is that if you just turn on the graph of tan inverse x, then you're going to see that as you go further and further to the right, that you're gonna get closer and closer to a asymptote of pi over two. So that's the answer, the answer is pi over two. If you can't remember that there's a horizontal asymptote of pi over two for tan inverse, well, maybe you can remember what's going on with the graph of tan. So with the graph of tan, well, that's between two vertical asymptotes and the asymptote that corresponds to the one we were just doing is x equals pi over two. But when you're in the inverse, then it's y equals pi over two. So anyway, either way, whether you look it up on a graph or if you need to remember it without a graph, you get the answer pi over two. So real quick, as x gets closer to zero, turns out the fraction here gets closer to infinity, and that just means you need to figure out what's happening as x gets closer to infinity in tan inverse x. And it turns out that answer is pi over two.